Here with us today is the family of California police officer Ronell Singh. And I've got to know his family. They're an incredible family. They just left the Oval Office. We took pictures. And it's not an easy situation, what they're going through. Frankly, they're going through hell. Ronald came to this country legally in 2003 with the dream of earning the badge of an American police officer. That was always his dream. And that's exactly what Ronell did. He devoted his life to defending the laws of our country. The family is special. Ronell was special. And today, we're really grateful to be joined by Corporal Singh's wife, Anamika, and their precious 10-month-old son, Arna. Where are you? Is it right here someplace? Stand up, please. And also here are his great parents, Ronnie and Veer, and his brother. Where is Reggie, his brother? Reggie, what a great family. Reggie, come up here, will you please? Come on up. Come on. This is unexpected, but this family, I tell you, I've, you know, you get to know some people. Come on up. They may let you up. I think so. <laughs> I think Reggie's okay. Come on up, Reggie. How about bringing the beautiful boy up? Come on up. Come on. Mrs. Singh, come up. Come on up. You know what? How about mom and dad, too? Come on up. Mom and dad. Wife and baby. Come on up. Come. This is an incredible family. That's great. Got to see it to understand what it's all about. It's hard to imagine what they've been through. Hard to imagine. Come on up, Rich. You didn't know you'd be doing this, Reggie. Sorry, Reggie. I am the brother of Corporal Ronil Singh. Uh, I'd like to thank every single law enforcement officer over here. Um, what do you guys go through? I heard stories from my brother. This man over here, the Singh family supports him. Whatever he's doing for the law enforcement, we support him. His team at the White House has reached out to us multiple times, multiple times. I don't think that has ever happened before, ever. This man is amazing, and my family supports him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, folks. Thank you. Please. Thank you, brother. You take care of yourself. Great job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, she said, no, no, I don't want to speak. Actually, I do. I like that. I think it's great. Go. It's something I didn't get to do at the office. I actually want to thank you personally for you're the only one that actually reached out and said, gave you condolence to the family, and it actually means a lot to all of our law enforcement families that are here for the sacrifice. My husband and his brothers in blue and sisters in blue have given. So I want to thank you that. And we all, every family sitting out here wants justice for what happened to their loved ones. 
And that's what I want for my husband. Thank you. That's true. Thank you. Thank you very much. So beautiful. Such a beautiful family. Uh, and there will be justice. Justice will happen. We have the people and we have the spirit. We have the mindset. We're taking care of our law enforcement officers. And we're taking care of everybody. But we cannot imagine your pain. I mean, doing that, just doing that. Reggie, thank you very much.